Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're diving into one of the hottest topics in the political arena right now. President Biden's comments about Puerto Rico and the ensuing controversy. So, what's the deal? It all started when President Biden responded to some incredibly racist jokes made at a Trump rally about Puerto Rico. The comedian referred to Puerto Rico as a floating island of garbage, which, as you can imagine, didn't sit well with a lot of people. During a call with Latino voters, Biden stepped in, saying Puerto Ricans are good, decent, honorable people. Sounds like a solid defense, right? But here's where things get messy. Republicans quickly pounced, accusing Biden of attacking Trump supporters. The White House had to step up and clarify. Biden was condemning the comedian's remarks, not attacking the supporters. This whole debacle has overshadowed Vice President Harris's speech and given Republicans a chance to slam Biden and Harris, drawing comparisons to Hillary Clinton's infamous basket of deplorables comment. It's a political storm that's shaking things up just before the election. Now, let's talk about the bigger picture. This incident has really struck a chord with many Puerto Ricans and residents of other US territories. Despite being US citizens and paying federal taxes, they don't have the right to vote in presidential elections. It's a frustrating situation that leaves many feeling like second-class citizens. Take Philip Gilbert, a service member who says he feels robbed of his voting rights, or Karina Claudio Betancourt, who believes that independence from the US is the only path to true equality and representation for Puerto Rico. This controversy has sparked renewed calls for change and greater political rights for those living in US territories. And let's not forget, there's an upcoming non-binding referendum on Puerto Rico's status. The outcome could have significant implications for the island's future relationship with the US. But back to Biden. His attempt to condemn those offensive jokes seems to have backfired, giving the Trump campaign a golden opportunity to seize the narrative. This incident, labelled a gaffe by some, has put Biden in the spotlight for all the wrong reasons. Trump and his allies were quick to capitalise on the situation, framing Biden as out of touch with voters. It's put Vice President Harris in a tough spot too, forcing her to address the situation while trying to stay on message. The timing couldn't be worse, potentially alienating swing voters and impacting the election's outcome. So what does this all mean for the Biden campaign? It raises questions about Biden's role and his susceptibility to making gaffes, especially with the high stakes of the election. The White House's effort to clarify his remarks highlights just how crucial careful communication is in a tightly contested race. All right, that's a wrap for today. What do you think about Biden's comments and the political fallout? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's get the discussion going. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more updates. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.